Hey y'all. It is still Tuesday and I'm on my way home. I spent a little time with Mary Jo and her two grandbabies and her daughter, Emma. And I went to Starbucks. I did. I caved today and I went. Um, what was I gonna tell y'all? I really had a reason for this video. <laughs> y'all, I'm gonna tell you, I have had, yesterday was the craziest day. I mean, stuff just kept happening. And I don't know, y'all probably get these days occasionally yourself. And I'm going to tell you, it was toward the end of the day before I was able, Terry had a doctor's appointment yesterday, and we had to stop at the bank, and I had to get my rent money for him. And then we got home, and I needed to go over to Walmart for something, so I dropped Terry off. It was miserably hot yesterday, too. I don't know what is going on, y'all. I'm just about ready to drive up to Washington and just let it pour down rain on me. And hazel too. Now, I was took my clothes up to the laundromat, which is on the floor above us. Now, um, I had so much because I had all the hazel stuff that I had to do two loads. And um, so I, I put three loads in, I guess, three or four loads in, and then I went back downstairs and got the rest of the clothes. So, um, I'm going to get over in this faster lane. I don't know what's going on with this big truck in front of me. But anyway, um, I got back up there, and I was looking at my clothes in the washer to see, you know, how they were doing. Well, one of the loads I had not started. Okay. So I put the money in and I started it. Then I loaded up the other washers, got everything going. I looked over there and the one that I hadn't started had like delicates in it. There was so much soap in there, y'all. I do not know. I usually am very careful about that. So I had to wash that load over again. Now you can't interrupt it and restart it. Not those laundromat machines. So I had to wait for that one to finish washing. Then I started it up again with nothing in the washer, no soap or anything. And then I was standing there and the washer that had my towels in it got unbalanced and jumped out from the wall, you guys. Scared the pee out of me. If I'd have been standing right there, it would have knocked me over. At that point, I began to be afraid. <laughs> I just wanted to get my laundry done and I wanted to get back home and I just wanted to sit down. I mean, it was the craziest day. But anyway, it ended up being all right. I, uh, I didn't even put my clothes away. I hung up my stuff in the closet and the clothes baskets just sat there all night. I didn't do it until this morning. So anyway, that was kind of a, I wouldn't say that was my funnest day, y'all. It definitely wasn't. I'm really looking forward to a break in this weather, some cooler weather, because I cannot do a tour of this van in 100, 106 degree weather. I can't do it. So anyway, um, that's it for right now, y'all. You can see a little bit of the new van. So far, so good, you guys. And I have figured out ways to make it work. 
My biggest problem is going to be getting window coverings. Figuring out what I can do. I would rather not use the, um, you know I always forget the name of that stuff. It's that silver stuff that you make window coverings with. Well, I don't know. I can't. <laughs> I'm going to be out there staying with Marge pretty soon, I'm afraid. But anyway, whatever that stuff is called, I'm trying not to make a bunch of panels that I have to take up and down. I'm trying to figure out a way where I could put a string or a wire or something around so that I could have curtains that would give me privacy. The windows are kind of tinted back there, but they're not nearly dark enough. Um, so that's the biggest thing that I'm going to have to figure out. Now, y'all, I can make little window curtains. That's about as far as my sewing skills go. But anyway, I will do a tour just as soon as I can, okay? And y'all have a good day and do something fun. Talk to you later. Bye.